Hi Frosttube, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I'm the Lancashire Stitcher. Today is Saturday the 22nd of May 2021 and this is Frosttube number 20. If you're new here, welcome. This is a channel mainly about cross stitch but I do include other crafts, especially knitting. And if you're returning, welcome back. It's lovely to see you all again. Um, I've got quite a lot to show you. It's been quite a hectic two weeks. I've been really busy with the business, a um, lot of orders to fulfil. Um, but yeah, it's been a, a very productive two weeks too. Um, on my last video, I had a few, a few questions. Anna Esturo asked me where did I buy the fabric that I showed in my um, haul last time, um, which was the fabric for um, Lady of the Flag and for Queen Sari. Um, I buy I bought that fabric from Paul Stitches, which is where I normally buy fabric from, um, but I do buy other fabric from Crafty Kitten and Sparklies um, sometimes. Anna Jane asked me about um, the Christmas afghan that I showed in my whip videos, my whip parade videos. Um, it was this one, basically. Um, this was a Margaret Sherry design that was in um, Cross Stitcher magazine a few years ago. Um, I do have the patterns. Um, I've just got all the ripped out pages from them, but me. Um, so that's it. It's from Christmas 2006, so it's quite old now. Um, I'm not sure if you'd be able to get it, but I'm sure they must have it the pattern somewhere. Um, but yeah, I used to um, religiously buy Cross Stitcher magazine um, every month, and yeah, I've, I got this. Got this. I ripped this out of the magazine because I sent it as a as a round robin. So yeah. So that's that one. Um, and then I've had quite a lot of questions asking me um, whether I'll be able to do work for people in the US. And unfortunately, um, my insurance doesn't cover me um, for, for dealing with customers um, in the US or Canada. Um, I've no idea why. It was just one of the things on my insurance that I've not to deal with people in in those countries um so i'm sorry unfortunately i can't do it um next year i'll i'll have a look into getting insurance it's public and product liability insurance that you need to have as a business um it's uh, next year I'll, I'll look into getting insurance that i can that where i can deal with people from the us but i have to uh, look into it and consider the cost and things like that Okay, so um, finishes. I've got one finish, but I've not actually got it with me because it was for a birthday exchange. Um, but I'll put a picture up, and it was um, the summer the summer night by Hands On Design. I made it for a friend for a birthday exchange, um, and got it sent off to her. So that's that one, and then my whips first as always is one nation by bygone stitches um been stitching this for a while but it's nearly finished nearly as you will see there we go the the stars are done the blue round the stars is done all the states are done I just need to finish off all the lines and all the bits and bobs around them. So hopefully on my next video that will be finished. Um, I still need to stitch on it as part of my acrostic challenge this month. Um, and I'm still going to stitch on it on Sundays um, until it's finished. Um, but hopefully, hopefully I'll have a finish in a couple of weeks. And then this next one is also close to a finish. It's Cappuccino by Mill Hill. I'm stitching this as part of Mill Hill Mondays. And yeah, it's nearly finished. And I'll put that at the back. So there we go. So if you follow me on Instagram, 
um i'm mrs b 1968 on instagram um when i put a picture up on monday i hadn't done the o on the beads on the o so i'd only done up to the end um before i stopped um and it just bugged me and bugged me and bugged me so on the tuesday i did the o <laughs> um i also did some of the beads around the eight side so Hopefully either next Monday or the Monday after this will be a finish because all I need to do is finish the beads around the eight side. I need to do beads across the top here and then some more down the side. And then I need to do some little beads on these coffee beans and then it's finished. And yeah, that will be my first Mill Hill Monday finish. And then... I'm going to show you what I'm going to do after that. When that one's finished, I'm going to start, believe, um, oh, I'm going to carry on with it actually because I've actually started it and that's all I've got done is this little hand. So that'll be my next Mill Hill Monday piece. So there we go. And then my next whip is Temperature Typography by Stitching Mummy stitch on this basically every day um, using the maximum temperature from the day before using the AccuWeather app and that is what it looks like so far so as you can see May hasn't been great it's been quite cool um, got some greens and some blue in there so quite cool for May like I've said last time uh, so yeah I have stitched on it today. I'm filming a bit later in the day than I normally do. Um, but yeah, that one's done up to me. Okay, so the next ones are all from my acrostic challenge. The first one is Halloween Jumbo by The Drawn Thread. This was bought as a kit from Nimble Thimble. Should get on board. And that is what I've got done so far. So as you can see, I've got quite a bit done. So all I had done before was these three pieces here. So I've done everything above there. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. I'm stitching on this again next month. So I'll get some more done. My next one is I Am A Stitcher by Cherrywood Design Studio. Stitching, I stitched on this as part of Letters of the Month Sal. Um, so I did six hours on it rather than the four that I normally do on my um, Acrostic Challenge. And that is what I've got done. So basically, all I've done this month is the, the cream colour in the background. Um, it's I think it's Gentle Arts Lamb's Wool. Um, so yeah, I just did all that background. Just thought it'd be better to do that as I go along rather than try and do it at the end. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. The next one is Hands On Designs Wool Block Party. And this is finished. So you can see I did this side last this last month and those four sides are done now so all i need to do to finish it which i'm hopefully going to do in the next couple of weeks is do a back stitch line all the way around just like on the, the top there you can see you've got uh, you've got the the line going around the outside so i need to do that all the way around that and then do a square for the bottom um and then just make it up so hopefully i've made that up ready for the next video so I should have, should have quite a few finishes on my next video. Should, should. So my next one is Jenny Bean's Friendship Sampler. Um, this was my other Letters of the Month piece for, for May. Um, it was a new start and um, I've been watching Creative Leo's stitching on this and I just couldn't wait to start it. And... Whoops, come on. That is what I've got done. 
So this is 32 count cream Belfast linen by Zweigart and I'm stitching it using all the Carlfar colours. Um, the numbers in the roof, um, they're going to be done in parchment um, by Gentle Arts but I can't get that at the moment so it'll have to wait. Um, and the house, the houses are, are bigger than I thought they were going to be but yeah they're going to be nice. So yeah I really like that. All the Carlfar colours in that. My next one is Girls' Night Out by Just Another Button Company, which is just been on the floor. Okay, so this was one of the charts that you buy the buttons and you get the chart free. And I also got the, the um, fabric. Sorry, I'll just pick these up. There we go all mixed up now so girls night out this is what i've got done hopefully you'll be able to see a bit of sparkle in there um this color here is silk lame by rainbow gallery um it's not the color that was called for i couldn't get the color that was called for it was supposed to be like a, a teal um but i got as near to as i could um and there's also some sparkle on the back as well and the metallic bits so yeah I do like that one. So my next one is that one. Random Thoughts by the Drown Thread. I love stitching on this. I'm stitching on this again next month. And so let's show I only finished stitching on this last night. I'll show you what I've got done when it's sorted out. There we go. Uh, right so this month this time i've got finished off this bit here i've done the eye i've done the h this little flower is over one then i've done the crane i've done the g which is a viathan stitch i think this is a little rabbit i've new to do his tail which is a french knot i've done the f i've done this little bit here which is rapid stitch and then i've done the tree um uh, this is going to be stitched on next month and i'm hoping just to finish this because this this where this stops at the top that's the top of the design so i'm hoping to finish the top end then i can go down afterwards so yeah i do like that design there we go and then oh that's it for my whips okay so i'm sorry i'm a bit mixed up because some things fell on the floor and then i've just had to put them on top so um, my giveaway. So last time, my last video, I had two giveaways. Um, the first one is Angel of Summer by Lavender and Lace. And the winner of this one is Denise Gray. So congratulations, Denise. I'll comment on your comment if you could um, email me with your uh, home address and I'll get it in the post to you. Pardon me. I'll also put my email address across the bottom because I know there was somebody last month who they don't really do the, the comments thing. So, yeah, I'll put it on the bottom. The other one was Angel of Autumn by Lavender and Lace. And the winner of this one is Marzipan Stitcher. So, again, congratulations. Um, I'll comment on your comment if you email me and send me your address and I'll get it in the post. Me, dear me, right. So, I am going to have another giveaway at the end. Um, but yeah, those are the giveaways from last time. My plans for June so, we're on the 22nd of, of May. My next video will be on the 5th of June. Um, so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do in June. So, the, the acrostic challenge phrase that I've chosen is throw them out um, it was all to do with uh, what you do with your little arts or your old raggy threads and it was either put them in a jar or something like that and then i've picked throw them out because that's basically what i do um but yeah so for throw them out so for tea 
I'm going to stitch on Three Wise Men by Blackberry Lane Designs. Um, I'm stitching this on a piece of 40 count linen. I think it's sand. Um, and it's over one using one thread. And that's what I've got done so far. Just need a good light to stitch on this. Uh, but I do like stitching on it. So I'm um, doing it in tent stitch as well. I'm not using full crosses. So yeah, that's that one. And then H is going to be Halloween Jumble that I showed you earlier. And R is going to be Random Thoughts that I showed you earlier. O is going to be Old Glory Angel by La Di Da. I've not stitched on this for a few months. So it'd be nice to stitch on it again. And I'm stitching this on a piece of raw Belfast linen. Uh, 32 count probably. And big creases. That's what I've got done so far. So everything at the bottom is done apart from the, the line that goes up around the design. Um, so I need to carry on up on a dress. But yeah, I do like this design. that one and then w for throw is going to be when life is done by silver creek samplers um i started stitching this on the anniversary of my dad's passing last august it was one year since he'd passed um, i'm hoping to get it finished on before the anniversary this year so yeah stitching this on a piece of paul stitches grab bag fabric And that is what I've got done so far. So I do like this design. There we go. And then them, so T in them, is going to be Three Things Sampler by Moira, Moira Blackburn. Not stitched on this for a while. It's one of those things that I stitch on for a while and then I get fed up with it. I have no idea what this fabric is. I know it's pole stitches, but that is what I've got done. So basically, let's get the fabrics just hanging. Um, basically, all I've done is the verse and then the row of flowers at the bottom. So I need to get on with some different part of it. So yeah, get some done on that next month. I don't think it's pearl this fabric. I'm not sure what it is. There we go. Right. And then H for them. I'm going to have to put a picture up because I don't have a picture of it. It's going to be Hummingbird Coaster by MCG Textiles. And that's what I've got done. This is 18 count Ada that I'm stitching it on. It's been in my whips for a very long time. So hopefully I'll get some more done on that that one and then e in them is going to be enchanted alphabet by lavender and lace i love stitching on this i'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count cotton clouds by crafty kitten and that is what i've got done so far i'm stitching this using all the car park colors except for the girl's dress which I'm doing in blue with a white pinny and it's all creased up because it's been crammed into a little bag so I need to put it in a bigger bag so it doesn't get all these creases all over it so yeah I do love the design the design of this I just need to do some more work on it um and then M for them is going to be a new start and it's going to be Meow Bot Party by Hands On Design. I'm finishing one, so I'm starting another. Um, I have had this in my box for a while. Um, and I then I've seen Elizabeth Anken stitch. Um, she's actually finished it now and I just loved it. So I thought, yeah, I need to do that. So that's my another one of my new starts for next month. And then... What are we on? Oh... 
out throw them out so out now then this has got quite a it's not linked to the name i'm going to do i will cut you scissor book by stacy nash primitives stacy nash primitives yeah okay um i started stitching this when i went to see my daughter last month um and yeah i'm gonna do it this time um how it links to all is it's done in one color so that's it that's the link and that is what i've got done so far so this is being stitched on a piece of 36 count confederate gray linen by weeks dye works um the, the words are done over one and everything else is over two so yeah i do like it so hopefully i'll get some more done on that and then for you in out Again, it's not linked to the name. It's going to be My Lady of the Flag by Mirabilia. Um, I've been wanting to start this for a while. I'm going to actually have it as my birthday start because my birthday's next month. Um, so, yeah, the link is USA because it's the USA flag. Um, that's the U. Um, and I'm going to also have this as my Sunday stitch um, when I finish One Nation. Um, calling it States Sunday. <laughs> So yeah, that's my new start for you. So yeah, I'm gonna get started with it. Yay, at last. So yeah, um, that's also letters of the month piece for next month um, for letter L. Um, and then T for out is gonna be another new start and it's Bent Creek Sheep for the T as in the. Um, it's quite dark on the picture. Don't know if you can see that. It's stitched on eggplant, 30 count eggplant linen by R&R. &R. Um, but that it's quite dark. And I'm actually going to make it into a birth sampler for Skylar. Um, I've bought some fabric, which I'll show you in haul, um, but it's not as dark as that. Um, and I'm thinking I'll do this as well as a block. Um, it actually says A bar C, as in A, B, C. Sheep for thee, one, two, three. So, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Quite an old chart. I've not seen Bent Creek charts like this for a long time. But yeah, thought it'd be nice that to do that one. So that's all the acrostic challenges. But then I have another um, Letters of the Month piece. And that's going to be Kringles by Little House Needleworks. It's going to be a new start. Um, I bought fabric to go with this when I bought the chart. Near enough when I bought the chart. Um, I think it's Parisian grey colour I've got for it um so yeah i'm gonna make a start on that as part of my letters of the month piece okay so that's my plans for next month so i need to show you my haul and i also have a, so, some happy mail i have a giveaway and then i've got my life updates and some knitting to do so haul um, the first one is Stitching Bird. I managed to get hold of this. I mentioned it last time. Um, I got it from Peakside. And I also got the buttons to go with the Quilting Bird that I showed last time. And then the button to go with this one. So, yeah, that's those. And then the other chart I've got is called Gingerbread Cottage Drum by Praiseworthy Stitches got this from nimble thimble that's the actual design you can have it as a picture or a drum so yeah got that and then fabrics i've got two fabrics the first one is the one i got for the um sheep for thee by bent creek and it's this one this is fox and rabbit um 36 count dragon fruit so it's a nice pinky purple I thought that would be nice for the sheep um, to do the birth sample on. So that's that one. And then this one, I'll get out of the bag so you can see it. This is 28 count um, Beautiful Beige by Permin or Witch Out. Um, I got this for my owl bot party. So yeah, that's that one. It's quite stiff with it being Permin. We'll see how it goes. It's not too bad. I've had stiffer fabrics from Permin, but yeah not too bad we'll see how it goes so that's my haul 
happy mail right um one of my clients from my business um i made her a few a couple of flat folds um she asked me if i wanted this book cross stitch for the earth um she'd actually got two by mistake so she offered me one so i said yes please um i'd actually tried ordering it um alba stitcher amanda she showed it um the, on one of her videos she actually showed us this never under, underestimate the difference you make and i thought yep that's perfect that so i tried to order it nobody had it in stock apart from blackwell's bookshop in in britain in the uk um so i ordered it from blackwell's and i'm still waiting i've sent emails and not had a response so thank you so much to my client i now have it and i'm going to ask for a refund from blackwell's because it's been a month over a month since i ordered it and i've still not got the book so yeah i will be asking for a refund um i love this design too unplug and go outside i just like that and there's this one enjoy the little things enjoy all the little things which is one of my favorite phrases okay so that's my happy mail so thank you so much to my client for sending me that it's very much appreciated um life update um i've started doing this thing called fit fans um it's a 12 week course um it's at blackburn rovers here in around here where i live um, i know they do it all over the place um basically you go every week i signed up for it last january february last year 2020 um and of course it didn't happen because of covid and they kept putting it off and putting it off and then eventually we've actually, we've actually managed to get going with it so basically you go every week and you do some low impact exercise and you have um like a, a classroom based type session um about exercise about eating and basically it's to help you lose weight and get fit which is something that I definitely need right now. Um, I've put a lot of weight on since the beginning of COVID. So, yeah. Um, so last week I went and it was sort of like just the signing up day. You went and you filled in a lot of forms. Um, they gave you a T-shirt and then you got one of these, which is a pedometer. Um, because, yeah, because you have to, you, you record your steps every day. And then you work out your average for the week and then when i go on monday they'll say right next week you have to your average needs to be a thousand more than what it's been this week so basically you're building your steps up every week um, and i've got my watch my what my garmin watch i usually use that for steps but having this around my neck and going out and seeing what it says on my watch my watch is telling me i've done like 2000 steps more a day than i actually have with this but then i know that this watch if i'm knitting it's recording steps if i'm doing some finishing it's recording steps even though i'm sat here at my table so yeah <laughs> but it's quite shocking really the difference like this is is telling me like, like this is going off the actual steps because you, you, you it only moves when you're moving where my, my arm moving moves all the time but yeah so we'll see how it goes <laughs> but yeah it's been quite a shock this week to see how little walking i actually do right but like i said working from home i'm not moving around so much anyway because i'm i'm in here doing my work or i'll go downstairs and make a drink or you know it's not like i'm running around so yeah, it's making me think more about what exercise I'm doing. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, other than that, um, the business has been ke keeping me really busy this past two weeks. I've had quite a lot of orders, especially for, for these um, thread catchers um, that I showed last time. I've made quite a few of these in the last couple of weeks and I've still got more to make. I've had an order today for four by from one person. So um I don't have any of this Spider-Man fabric left. I have bought more Spider-Man fabric, but not, it's not the same as this one. Um, but yeah, um, 
I'm surprised with how many people actually wanted these. Um, I'm still taking orders for these. Um, grime guards I mentioned in my last video. I've had a few people asking me for grime guards. Um, I've not had the chance to do them. Um, I said I wanted to get them on the website and put prices on things and I've just not had the chance to do it because I've had so much work to do. Um, but, and people have been asking me, oh, can I have such a size? And I, I just can't at the minute because I've no idea what I'm doing with them yet. So as soon as I, I start doing them, I will let you know and they'll be up on my website. So, yeah. <laughs> but you know, like I said, I've been busy. It's been funny, really, because I had a week where I had nothing and all of a sudden I had a load of orders again. So, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, other than that, it's 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 been quiet. Um, I've been trying to sort my house out. Um, I've been on um, medication for depression and anxiety for like the last two years, two and a half years, and I've stopped taking them now because I'm not teaching anymore. I've, I've not needed them, so I start, I've weaned myself off them, and it sort of like made me think clearer. It's like I'm seeing things now that. And it's really bothering me like my house there's parts of my house that i think oh you know i need to do something about that where before it just wasn't bothering me and i think that was the medication so yeah i'm I'm doing little bits at a time and getting things sorted but yeah it's like my brain's suddenly clear and i know what i'm doing now and it's so much better um i feel a lot better in myself so um you know i still still have like anxiety issues but nothing like they were nowhere near like they were when i was teaching so yeah um so yeah other than that i think everything else has been fine um my granddaughter my eldest granddaughter she turned one the other day um the one in cardiff um we'd ordered her a, <clears throat> a water table um which got sent in the post my, my son ordered it um but yeah um uh, so she's one now but yeah everything else is fine yeah okay right so giveaway new giveaway there they are so following on from the last few giveaways i've got angel of winter by lavender and lace if you'd like this one please say the word winter in your comment okay so that's the first one and then the second one this is quite an old chart it's called the big white house and it's by you and i and friends so if you'd like this one please say the word house usual giveaway rules apply please don't say the word giveaway or the word draw or anything similar i have i've had one or two people saying that in comments in the in this in from the last video um but i've, I've not had any trolls or anything you know i've not had anybody spamming me so but please don't say those words because if, if i get any more comments with those words i will delete them um because i don't want lots of spam i don't want people winning my giveaways who aren't stitchers so please don't say those words um please comment before the 5th of june um because that's when i'll be doing my next video um and preferably be a subscriber i don't mind where i post to um you know i've sent some to the us i've sent them to australia don't but doesn't bother me where i send things like this um but yeah that's my giveaway okay so knitting knitting this time so the last few videos i've been showing you my little yellow jacket which is this one which is little sunday little vintage sunday coat and that's the back of it and i've finished the sleeves which is all i've done on this since the last video there's my sleeves so all i need to do now is make it up <laughs> um you need to you have to sew the sh shoulder seams and then you do the collar um but yeah i've not done that yet but then i just keep thinking there's no rush no rush but of course because i've got onto the making up bit i've been knitting on something else so um 
I'll have to show a video and show them. No, I'll have to put a picture up of this one. Um, I did have a paper pattern, but I don't know where it's gone. Um, I started knitting on this a while ago. Um, it's a, a little jacket for my grandson Noah. And I started knitting the three to four year old size because the, the pattern was one to two or three to four. No, two to three. So, yeah. Um, so I started doing the three to four one and it was only just two when I started knitting it. Um, this is the back. I'd knit, I I'd finished knitting this when I knit it earlier. And as you can see, it's just a, a plain... It's got a nice rib at the bottom and then we've got a few lines there and then up to the top. This yarn is another King Call and it's Smarty Double Knit. Um, I'd knit him a, a little double breasted jacket. I'll put a picture up of it, of him in it. Um, I, I did that quite a while ago and my daughter loved it. She's, um, so I thought I'll get some more of this yarn and I got this. I think I bought this from um, the, the wool shop in Horwich which is where my mum lives um fine yarns um I got the blue shade where the, the double breasted jacket was green um and I thought I'm doing my little jacket oh dropped the ball um so yeah I started knitting this and then I put it to one side thinking well I'll do it when he's nearer three and he's three in September so I started knitting on it again and then I've done the front one of the fronts there's the front so yeah, there we go. Yeah, and then I've started knitting the other front. So the reason that what I've had to do, um, as I said, I can't. I've mislaid the pattern. The the, the piece the piece I've knit and the yarn were in a paper bag, but the pattern wasn't there when I picked it up. So I've no idea where it is. I've looked all over. I've looked in my knitting folders. Um, you know, I've looked in the obvious places and can't find it. So basically what I had to do was buy the PDF version um, from Wool Warehouse. Um, and then I've just printed off the pattern rather than print printing off the picture. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> so I'm having to do that. So, yeah, I've got those two things going at the moment. <laughs> Neither of them are needed straight away. So ideal, but really for me for knitting. It's, it takes me forever to sew things up <laughs> but yeah so yeah that's my knitting so i think that's it for today um i hope everybody's had no i hope everybody has a good two weeks um the weather's been rubbish here for the past two weeks we've had lots of rain um we've had sleet <laughs> we've had all sorts um but yeah, hopefully it'll be better this next two weeks and hopefully we might start getting a bit more summery weather. Um, but yeah, please have a great two weeks and um, happy stitching. I'll see you in two weeks time. Bye for now.